Hey guys, it's a Getty Kijibo 122. Uh, before we get started with this next episode, I just wanted to say a couple of quick things. So, first of all, thank you guys so much for the support that you guys have been giving this series. Uh, the amount of people that do consistently watch it is really, really, really appreciated. I've been working super hard on this series, and it's a big passion project of mine to do a full cohesive let's play of Persona 5 role. And I know that it's not perfect, but I, I really do appreciate those who have been consistently watching it. it. It means a lot to me. But the reason I'm kind of giving a little preface before we start the video is because as of this point, we are getting into what is referred to as the third semester. This semester is exclusive to Persona 5 Royal. It is not anywhere to be found in the original Persona 5. And in case the little game capture restriction pop being up in the corner in the last episode didn't kind of give you an indication of this, we are getting into spoiler territory, like major, major, major spoiler territory. In fact, I can say with relative confidence that pretty much everything in the third semester is spoilers. So I'm just going to save myself some time and Edgar Griffin some time and just say right now, major spoiler warning moving forward. Every episode moving forward is going to have spoilers in it. And if it doesn't have spoilers in it, whoop de doo But more likely than not, it absolutely will have spoilers. If you do not wish to be spoiled and would rather experience a story on your own, I would recommend a few things. First of all, there's a neat little playlist link in the description of this video that will take you to the playlist for my Persona 5 Royal series. So if you are not caught up on Persona 5 Royal and you want to experience the story naturally and progressively as intended, you can go to the playlist, start from the beginning, and watch your way through. It'll take a little while, but it will be totally worth it. Alternatively, if you don't want to watch my videos, and that is totally fine if you don't, I would recommend getting the game for yourself. There has never been a better time to get or play Persona 5 Royal, because as of the result of the 25th anniversary happening last year, Atlas has released Persona 5 Royal on pretty much every console and system that you could reasonably use in this modern day. You can get it on PlayStation 4, you can get a remake of it on PlayStation 5, which will be locked at 60 frames per second. You can get a version of Persona 5 Royal for the Nintendo Switch. You can get it for the Xbox. You can even get it on Steam, and it is fully compatible with the Steam Deck. So, really truly, if you want to play Persona 5 Royal, go ahead and get it. If you have a game console of any kind, more likely than not, you can play it on there. But yeah, major spoilers coming up. You're watching at your own risk. So, with that said, let's get started with the video with our typical warning. We're down to only one day left of the year. I know it's sudden, but we're gonna throw a year-end party tomorrow. Kick Are you organizing this, Futaba-chan? Thank you for letting us know. Sotro's making a New Year's Eve soba noodles for us. In that case, would it be alright if we met up in the evening? May I invite my sister? Go ahead! The whole place is reserved anyway. Then, should we call Yoshizawa too? Morgana and Futaba already covered it, but she really helped him out in that palace before. And it's New Year's Eve, so it's not like she'll be busy at practice. I agree. Then Ren, you're officially our event coordinator. It's your job to contact her. She'll be thrilled. Alright, see you tomorrow. A year-end party, huh? I'm already excited. Oh, let's invite Yoshizawa right away. Thank you for inviting me. Although, I admit, I feel a bit like I'm intruding. There's no need for modesty. After all we've been through, there are no strangers here. Yeah! You really helped him out, too! In that case, I'll accept your offer. Yo, I really can't stop staring at that thing you're wearing. 
So it's caught your eye as well. It happened to catch mine while I was strolling through the city. I bought it for myself as a reward for the end of the year. What do you think about the scarf? It looks great on you. Thank you. Your compliment is music to my ears. I don't think anyone other than you could pull it off, Kitagawa-senpai. <laughs> this fashion chat is fine and all, but if you don't dig into that soba soon, it's gonna get soggy on you. Ah, yes. My apologies. Thank you for the food. It's chow time! Mmm, so good! Sakura-san, you made these noodles yourself, right? They're amazing! You could open a soba restaurant! Oh, thanks. I made a little too much, so if anyone wants a refill... Seconds, please! How fast do you eat? You eat a lot more than I'd assumed you do, Yoshizawa-san. Her stomach's bottomless. Seriously? While being that thin? Senpai, don't kid them so much. My appetite's totally normal. Breaking news on our top story. After nearly two weeks of silence, the prosecutor's office is planning to move forward with the biggest case of the year. They have announced that they will move forward in the charging of Representative Shido for his confessed crimes. It's finally happening. I was planning on telling all of you about this a little later. This case is all thanks to a certain man's testimony. But I can at least share this one piece of good news with you. And that would be? The woman involved in his false charge case has finally come forward and provided her testimony. I can't say for certain yet. But his criminal record may very well be overturned. For real? And that's wonderful! Congratulations, Senpai! Of course, this is highly confidential, got it? What great news! Looks like we really will be having a happy new year. This is incredible. It's an actual real life good ending. And after that, the two hour new year special of Tokyo Vice. A thrilling tale jam packed with some of the network's most famous faces. I'll never give up. I've been seeing this guy on TV all the time lately. Oh yeah, he's a model turned actor. With a figure like that, I can see how he's gotten so popular. So he's popular, eh? If I were more like that human, maybe Lady On would... The year is winding down to its final moments. Let's take a look at how people are spending it all across the country. Now that I'm thinking about it, a hell of a lot sure did happen this year. Right? It's like, how many years of our lives did we actually live through this year? I doubt we'll experience anything even similar to it for quite some time. Well, this is just from my point of view, but I really hope that's the case. <laughs> and I guess starting next year, we'll just be good boys and girls at school. If that's the case, then I assume you'll be able to handle your summer break homework on your own, right? Please don't go there, Senpai. I don't think I see that happening. <laughs> okay, that's a fine. Fine. <laughs> fine. Can't do it alone. I mean, what do I even do as an honor student? Uh, so much has happened over the past 12 months. But in the end, we got to spend it together like this. I want to believe that this was a great year for us. Yeah. I don't have any proof, but I feel like next year is going to be even better for us. I feel the exact same way. How strange. Well, that's only natural, considering how pleased we are with our end-of-year celebration. Young people have been gathering in Shibuya all day for the big countdown at midnight, and this crowd is... I really don't want to get going, but it seems like it's time. See you next year, right? 
Next year? <gasps> Sojiro! Oseji time! Get those New Year's dishes ready! Chop chop! And don't forget the black beans! Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. If I start prepping the beans now, they'll be ready by the morning. Don't worry about the food. You just go have a good night's sleep. Happy New Year! Oh, sh it's already the New Year? Happy New Year! Last year's end seems only yesterday. Should we get together for a party or something? We gotta celebrate somehow! You have something in mind? I don't know, like a mochi eating contest or something. A prospect absolutely devoid of any class or dignity. I don't know what we do, but I'm totally down to see you all. Same. But not tomorrow, I got plans. Me too, apologies. But any other time should be fine. Sure, we could pick a date later. Anyways, Happy New Year! We're gonna have a great one, guys. Hmm. Hey, don't tell this to the others, okay? But... Even after I disappeared, I was still vaguely conscious. And being separated from all of you was... really scary. I thought, if it's even a little bit possible, I wanted to come home to you guys. That's why I'm so glad I was able to come back here. Welcome home. Yeah. Thanks. Well, it's pretty late. Let's get to sleep. I know I've said this before, but I hope we keep sticking together like this. Where... Am I? Class will be dismissed momentarily. Class will be dismissed momentarily. I get the feeling that I need to go home. This looks like the school. I need to go home. Well, this is a bizarre and peculiar situation we found ourselves in. Get awesome results and track meets alongside everyone else on the team, and eventually I get a hold of some scholarships for college to make things easier for my mom. I could hear a voice. Who is it? A butterfly? I should follow it. If that never happened, I would have gotten to enjoy my time in high school with Shiho. My sister's been supporting the family. It's unrealistic to demand any more of her. I'm helping Okumura Foods grow, with my father watching over me. There is the exit. Beautiful. Where are you going? I'm going home. Home? But isn't this where you belong? I see. So you still haven't accepted it. Well, I won't force you into anything. Let's meet again. I feel like I had the most bizarre dream. What could it have meant?
Neujahrs! Good morning. Were you still asleep, Amami Senpai? How'd you know? Um. I was just guessing, but I suppose you did sound a bit sleepy too. Remember promising me that we'd go pay our respect to the shrine together on New Year's Day? I think? Great! Well, today's the day, if you want to keep that promise. I realize this may be a bit forward of me, but... What do you say to accompany me to Meiji Shrine this afternoon? Already looking forward to it. I'm so happy! Really? Me too! It'll probably be pretty crowded today, but it oughtn't be too bad in the afternoon at least. Ugh, crowds. <laughs> I must agree. I'll make sure to pray to the gods that it won't be so crowded. Oh shoot, I hope that doesn't count as me wishing before making my offering. Hey, you up yet? I'm counting on well, you. Well, let's meet at the shrine around noon. I'll see you then. If you're awake, could you lend me a hand? Sorry to make work your first activity in the new year. Oh, that reminds me. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. And I hope you'll continue getting along with Futaba and myself. We're especially grateful you're open today. You know how everything on TV for New Year's is the same old, same old. Say, boss, don't you have any plans for this morning? I could cook some up, so long as you serve yourself everything and pay your bill on the way out. Ah, right. <laughs> Can't exactly make plans when you've already got customers. How about you, young man? Are you going to the shrine for the new year? That's a wise choice. Happy New Year. That's what you say today, right? Excuse me, but who are you? Who am I? Are you still half asleep or something? What bam? Oh, oh looking sharp. Oh, you look absolutely lovely, Futaba Chan. <laughs> I picked it out with my mom. I'm sorry, what? What did you just say? to the shrine. More showing off comes later. Well, time to make like a tree. The year's first shrine visit, eh? What do you think we should do? Well, perhaps we don't need to go this year. We don't have any more wishes that need granting. Sorry, but I think I'll be getting there sooner than I expected. It was way less crowded than I thought it would be. Did my wish actually come true? You're lucky. I'll wait by the entrance once I get there. Don't worry, no need to worry. What's up? Did you have plans for today or something? Yeah, Meiji Shrine. Oh, come on, you should have just said as much then. I'll be fine here, so off you go. Have fun. Oh, but it's pretty cold out there, so don't forget to dress warm so you don't catch a bug. That reminds me, I still haven't seen Morgana today. Where could he have gone? Anyway, I need to head over to Meiji Shrine.
<laughs> um, do I look weird? <laughs> Sorry for the short notice. I couldn't send you a New Year's card, so here we are. <laughs> well, shall we? people here at all. It's really unexpected. I'd almost prefer the usual crowd. Yeah, and the end of the year was just a few hours ago. Mm -hmm. Believe it or don't, only 364 <laughs> days until the next one. That is true, but... I know I'm gonna use the wrong year for a while. Well, I have an idea. New Year's party tonight to help switch <laughs> gears? Uh -huh. huh? Didn't expect you two here. <laughs> Coincidences can there be in one day? And a good morn unto you all. I haven't seen you in absolute ages. You were all at my place yesterday. <laughs> we were hanging out just yesterday. Thank you, An. Oh, I guess we all had plans to drop by here first thing today, huh? That would explain what led us to the shrine, but to this spot at the exact same time? Talk about incredible happenstance. Indeed, but due to this fortuitous turn of fate, I am able to witness this mesmerizing sight. Truly the embodiment of Japanese beauty. What are you doing, Kitagawa Senpai? Just ignore him. It's like a fit he gets into sometimes. So, what do you want to do after this? If we've got the time for it, why don't we grab something to eat together? I'm sorry, I'll be heading out with my family once we're finished here. I have somewhere to be as well. Me too. I'll be dining with my father somewhere. I'm sorry, what? I'm gonna hit up some New Year's sales with my mom. Who? Well, looks like you're all busy. And maybe I should hit up the track team and see what they're up to. Ooh, I'll get in touch with Shiho and find out if she has any plans yet. It's like no one's making any sense. Well, I guess we'll all just go do our own thing then. Mm -hmm. See you later. Looks like it's just us now. Oh, I was wondering earlier, what did you wish for at the Shrine Senpai? To be a ladies' man. You're starting the new year with quite the passionate wish, Senpai. What was your wish, Kazumi? Me? Well... Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm? It's from my dad. Uh... He's telling me that some relatives have come over to the house, so I have to go home and spend some time with them. He decided to come all the way out to the station to get me. My family is kind of serious about their get-togethers. You should get going. I'm really sorry. I was the one who invited you here and everything. At least allow me to accompany you to the station. You should hold on to your sleeve. That is your dress kimono, after all. <clears throat> now, who do we have here? I believe this is our first time meeting. This is my senpai. The one I told you about before? My senpai who's done so much for me. Oh, so you're her senpai. My daughter talks about you all the time. D Dad! Not all the time! Is that not so? I was told you picked these out for me, too. I know it's pretty late for it, but thank you all the same. It looks good on you. 
Dad wears them all the time, even at work. I'm quite the fan of them. Well, shall we get going? What? Hmm? Something wrong? Uh, no. Nothing. Well then, Senpai, please excuse us. I don't have any other plans for today. I should head back to my room. Morgana still hasn't returned. I feel like the questionnaire on the fan size changed too. Hey, do we have our first dream of the year old today? Do we? I thought that was tomorrow night. Is it that big a deal? You'll just have your first dream whenever it happens. Hey, this is important. I can't let my first dream of the year be a nightmare. Then it doesn't count. Duh. Here, take a look at this. Maybe it'll help you have good dreams. Ah, So many good photos in these last few episodes. That's been great. Huh? When did you take this? It was before we met up with you guys. We all bumped into each other first. Though, maybe we shouldn't take in a full group shot since we were all meeting up anyway. This photo is good in its own way. Indeed, I believe it will inspire some good dreams. But you gotta dream of specific things if you wanna have a good year, right? What's the traditional thing again? Mount Fuji, sheep, and okra? Sounds messy. It was Mount Fuji, a hawk, and an eggplant, in that order. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna make myself dream about that. I sincerely doubt you can brute force yourself into dreams. I plan to have a dream of singular beauty. I gotta b get to bed anyway. I gotta practice tomorrow too. What happened this afternoon can't be normal. Something is wrong. I can feel a warm breeze on my face. Hmm. I sense someone's presence! What's up? What's going on here? You're not the man that I wanted in my bed! Huh? I was just sleeping. Hey, you've been acting kind of weird since yesterday. What's going on? What do you mean, what's going on? Who are you? Are you two still sleeping? Your lunch is gonna pull a vanishing act if you don't come down soon. Ooh. Oh, you can go on ahead. I'll be down in a sec. Paperbrook? They're all perfectly shaped and so shiny. Looks like your recipes have reached housewife level quality. You trying to get hitched sometime soon? <laughs> Thanks, but no. Hey, come join us. Try the sweet black beans, they'll change your life. Good morning. Sphinx lady? Oh, is this your first gag of the new year? <laughs> Trunk on the spirit of the new year already, huh? I'll warn you not to try any pranks with Wakaba. It'll only blow up in your face. She'll tease you forever until she finally bores herself. You know me too well. Wakaba. Wakaba. Your work and your kid were so fulfilling for you. Why'd you have to die so suddenly? Wakaba is Futaba's mother's name. But 
she's no longer. What's up? Not feeling so good? He's been like this since yesterday. Who are you? Morning, Mona. Mona! Morning. Do you think there's enough Osechi for me to join you? Morgana? Was that a question? Of course I'm me. Oh god, he's hot! Seriously, are you alright? No! <laughs> Something is definitely very wrong here. Okay, that's enough joking around for now. Go ahead and grab a seat. I bet you're just hungry. Thank you for the food. I can't remember the last time I actually got to relax and enjoy myself on a New Year's like this. I'm stuffed too. If only I had something to cap off this meal. Like a cup of coffee? Boy, that was a subtle request. Oh, does anybody want dessert with their coffee? I'll go pick it up. My treat. You want a Mont Blanc, right, Mom? Oh, how kind. Thank you. All right, I shall return. Be careful. Morgana's supposed to be a cat. And Wakaba... She shouldn't be here with us. What's the matter? <sighs> Sorry, we haven't opened for the day yet. My apologies. I merely wish to speak with him for a moment. Why don't you go and get some fresh air with him? I'll stand guard over your dessert for you. You say that now, but when he gets back and his dessert's gone, I'm pretty sure he'll suspect it was an inside job. I can definitely see that happening with Mona on guard duty. Hey, come on, guys. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I guess I'll start the coffee. You know, don't you? We have to discuss this. You remember? That's right. Just like you seem to be. Come on. Well then, let's try to sort through this situation. What's happening? That seems as good a place to begin as any. At the end of last year, I turned myself into the police as the perpetrator of the serial psychotic breakdown incidents. Your memory of this is still intact, correct? But how are you alive? Ah, yes. So, my final enemy is a puppet version of myself. We have greater concerns right now. In fact, I'm a bit offended you think so little of me that you expected me to be dead. Perhaps the most confusing part of my story comes post-detainment. Obviously, I was thoroughly interrogated about my involvement in Shido's case. But for some reason, after questioning, I was suddenly released. No explanation whatsoever. They let you walk? Yes, I was acquitted of all charges. It's absolutely preposterous. More than that, it should be impossible for them to release a confessing suspect after only a brief interrogation. But what's even more unbelievable to me is... Wakaba. That's right. Wakaba Ishiki. I can't believe she's been brought back to life. For the time being, you seem to be the only one who's still in their right frame of mind. I should get to the point. Let's make a deal. A deal, you say? Haven't heard that in a while. 
What say we join forces on this? What would we do? I want to investigate what exactly is happening here. I'm fairly certain you wish to find out the same thing, no? For the time being, you and I share the same goal. To solve this problem, don't you agree that it'd be safer for us to partner up? He's right about the need for teamwork to deal with this bizarre situation. It may be best to work with Akechi on this. Have you made up your mind? What do you need me to do? Well... First, I need information. Can you tell me what happened after... parting ways with me in Shido's palace? One long explanation later. I see. Though some abnormalities appeared immediately, the most glaring ones arrived after the New Year. And all of the Phantom Thieves, with you as the sole exception, are living in this altered reality without even realizing it. Go ahead. Senpai, it's Yoshizawa. I'm in Odaiba right now. And, uh... What's happened? just going to describe it to you. It's that building. It's really faint, but I can see that palace thing that Morgana Senpai mentioned a while ago. Senpai, I know this is sudden, but could you come to Odaiba right away? I'll be on my way. I understand. I'll see you soon. That was Yoshizawa-san's voice, wasn't it? I believe I heard her say the word palace. I guess she spotted one. Despite not being in the metaverse. You're planning to meet up with Yoshizawa-san, right? I'll join you. We're all but guaranteed to find a clue there. Now that we've made ourselves a new deal, you wouldn't turn me down, would you? Okay, I'm just gonna say before we get started with any of this, I love the new expressions they made for Akechi for this third semester. Work to deal with a whole new Akechi. He is unhinged, he does not care, and it's going to be really fun, guys. We're in for such a good time. We just happened to be together when he got your call. First a dead woman returns, and now a palace appears. How intriguing. Akechi-san, you know about palaces? Would it help you grasp the situation if I told you that I have the same powers he has? Really? Does that mean you're also... Allow me to stop you there. I'm not a part of the Phantom Thieves. However, since you've already grasped the concept, it's clear to me that you're a fellow Persona user. Um. You can tell him. Yes, I can use a Persona as well. I'm not a part of the Phantom Thieves either, though. I just so happened to slip into this palace with him and Morgana Senpai a while ago. But what could be the meaning behind its appearance here? I just happened to be passing by on my way home when I came across it. Since nobody else is making a scene about it, I assume others aren't able to see it. Or they see it, but it doesn't evoke any real reaction in them. Yes, that's exactly it. I asked some people in the area, and none of them seem to care at all about its appearance. Hmm. Rather than simply hypothesize out here, we may be better off taking immediate action. You mean, we should go into the palace? Not only has a palace manifested in reality, but this is the only one visible to us. I realize I have no proof, 
but it's highly likely that this is related to our current incomprehensible situation. Wouldn't it be more efficient to just go inside and see what we can learn? That is, if we have the means to do so. Oh, it's... The Metaverse Navigator icon is back on my home screen. I thought it was gone for good, but it looks like we've regained access to the nav. I have it as well. Is there a search history? Search history? How do I check? Ah, there's one search in the log, but... There's an entry in the search history, but I can't read whose palace it is. Ugh. The name portion of the entry has been censored somehow. Could this be the doing of the palace's ruler? Does that mean we can't enter the palace? Well, we do have the search history, so it should be possible to infiltrate it anyway. If you're going in, would you be willing to bring me with you? I can't put my finger on it, but something's been bothering me about this place ever since we first entered it. I promise I won't slow you down. What's your call? Infiltration time. That settles it. All right. Let's do it. Now that I'm getting a second look here, I've noticed just how mysterious this place is. What could this building even be? It depends on what the palace's ruler thinks of the place. We'll likely find that out if we keep pushing forward. Is that so? By the way, um... What's the matter? Well, uh, I'm not sure how to put it. Oh look, your true outfit. True outfit? Oh, you mean this old thing? Yoshizawa-san aside, there's no reason for me to uphold the pretense of a righteous, sincere detective prince. Enough chatting. Let's move out. Okay, guys, we are back in the palace. We don't know whose palace this is yet, but we are finally back after 145 episodes. Ah, oh, we're back in my favorite palace of the game. But more importantly, Akechi and Kazumi are back. And I just want to say right now, this Akechi is not the same as the other Akechi. It's not just his appearance that have changed. We are looking at a whole different ball game with this Akechi here, and I am so excited to show you guys how different Akechi is in this palace. He is crazy, but I love him. He's great. Anyway, let's go in the elevator. Ah, oh, a treasure chest. Care to open it? All right, let's get started by opening a treasure chest. Ah, that's helpful. This place feels different than it did last time. That was a few months ago, wasn't it? There could have been a change of heart since then. Do you remember how far you went in last time? I think it was just beyond that door. That's where Senpai came to help me. I see, so you're only familiar with the area close to the entrance. Now, let us depart. Okay, well before we do that, let's take a look around. So first of all, we can grab this. It's a thick parchment. Let's take a look at these posters. Um. Strange, this poster is out of place. And why is this palace filled with people? These people exist only in the cognition of the palace ruler. They're like life-size dolls in a way. 
Although, we still don't know how the ruler perceives things that would cause him to appear. I see. Dolls, huh? I never would have guessed. They seem so real. There are multiple different posters that you can examine, and I do recommend that you look at them. Not for any pragmatic reason, just because you get a little bit of hints here and there. Um, what is this about? I don't recognize any of the words. It looks like a summary of research results. I bet you can decipher it, Joker. Hmm. Akechi-san? No. Nothing. Let us depart. And since there's no use standing around, we should get going. Weird. Wonder exactly what that uh, poster said. Anyway, let's at least try that door over here. There are so many people here. This is definitely different from the last time. Welcome, and thank you for coming, patients. You will be guided to one of our specialty care facilities according to your individual desires. We will assist each and every one of you. Rest assured, everyone can become happy. Should you have any questions about the facilities, feel free to bring them to our staff members nearby. What? A strange announcement. Become happy? What kind of place is this? We'll just have to figure that out for ourselves. Tangled USB cord. Okay, seems like our target appears to like technology. Though I'm not a big fan of tangled USB cords. I could deal. Nope. Okay, moving on. Looks like it's easy to move on ahead. Those geysers. You aren't among those who desire salvation. Take us to your ruler. Lee, you are unwanted intruders. Do not disturb our Lord's research. This world's salvation. The language of a shadow is a hint into its ruler's ideology. This one sounds rather cultish, for example. Sorry, but we're going to pass through there now. We don't have the time to waste on peons like yourself. Why do you willingly strive for self-suffering? Why are you reaching out to your own pain? Yoshizawa-san, you can do this, right? Yes, ready whenever. It'll be too much trouble to go about this haphazardly. I'll provide the support. Look at this scum pile up. Fine by me. Time for a bloodbath. Quite a while. Nothing gets me quite as excited as this. Hakechi-san! No. Time to obliterate them. Uh, all right. Yep. Like I said, Akechi plays completely differently. So, first of all, he's got different weapons. Um, his gun is pretty similar to the pre pretty similar to the previous one, though not quite as many shots. He's got a nice uh, laser sword that has now a serrated edge, but most importantly, he now uses Loki instead of Robin Hood. I had mentioned when we last fought Akechi that Loki was considered Robin Hood's second form, and I really didn't mean it. I just tried to play it off initially as it not mattering. So he has Leviathan, Colossal Physical Damage to one foe, Maggie Dolan, we've seen this plenty of times, Severe Almighty Damage to all foes, Debilitate, decrease attack, defense, accuracy, and evasion for one foe, the ultimate stat decreasing move. Riot Gun, severe gun damage to all foes. And a Gaon, heavy curse damage to one foe. So he's not a mix of light and dark anymore. It's just pure, pretty much almighty power and curse damage. So we're gonna blow him up. Alright, 
pretty straightforward fight, but again, the big thing to know here, Akechi is so unhinged. I think we handled that rather well, didn't we? Especially considering the last minute arrangement of our team and all. <sighs> Yoshizawa-san? Uh, yes. So that shadow, it said something about research. And also something about pain. It mentioned salvation as well. All this seems to indicate that the palace's ruler is not in his or her right mind. Oh? I seem to have found a map to this place. Let's make good use of it. Um, so I've only shared pleasantries with Akechi-san. Would you say this is how he normally is? Like a... a ruthless sort of person. Yep, just your everyday Akechi. I see. What say we save the idle chatter for later and keep moving? Unless teaming up with a ruthless sort of person is too much for you to handle. Looks like we're busted. Okay, so yeah, that was our first battle with our new Akechi and Kazumi. Uh, Kazumi hasn't really changed all that much in terms of her moveset. I should have mentioned that earlier. It's basically just stronger versions of the bless attacks that we've seen earlier, but her melee and ranged weapons have increased power now. She does have better stuff equipped, so yeah. That said, hello, friendly woman. Aren't you going to get examined? I'm on my way right now. So exciting. You're creepy. Well, I tried. Looks like we're gonna be going up the stairs today. Looks like we have some shadows to deal with. Nothing new here. But I think I've gotta go ahead and show a couple of these. So yeah, uh, one thing to note, uh, since neither Morgana nor Futaba are in the party right now, for the time being, Akechi is going to be the one providing navigation. And trust me, he's got a lot of unique lines that are specifically traded for pretty much every scenario you can think of. So, if you want to experiment a bit, this would be a good time to do it. But for the time being, let's inflict some damage. Took one down. I gotta keep up. Shit. We don't have the skills to exploit their weakness. Use something else. Persona! Not this. No means. I love a good vulnerability in my Go down. What a letdown. Pretty sad performance on their part. Oh, and he's got a ton of quips, too. So, trust me, it's going to okay. be worth our time. I have some battle. There seems to be a safe room near us. Let's find it and take a break. It's a safe room. Shall we take a rest? You can now quick travel to the entrance hall. Okay, so... On that note, I think we're gonna go ahead and end this here. We have found ourselves in a very bizarre situation. The whole world seems to have turned upside down. People are coming back from the dead, crime seems to be gone, and our good friend Akechi is back to hang out with us and save the day. It's exactly what we wanted. And next time on Persona 5 for All, we're gonna see what's the cause of all this. See you guys then.